751, time for Sunday brunch. And joining us today is Chef Gabe Garcia from the Tierra Sur restaurant at Herzog Wine Cellars in Oxnard, California. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for getting up this yeah, early, by the way. It's really early out there <laughs> on the West Coast. It's, it's like baker hours. <laughs> there you go. You get your day started early. So with this morning, we're making Japanese fried chicken with a Russian... Sounds dressing. Dressing? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, yeah. So if you were to Google Herzog Wine Cellars, we're in the middle of Oxnard, uh, 40 minutes south of Santa Barbara and 40 minutes north of L.A., we're in this crazy juxtapose of cultures, and we celebrate that here. Okay. So we have Japanese fried chicken with actually some inspiration of deli. When I'm talking about kosher deli, I'm talking about Russian dressing, a little bit of pastrami spice and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking, okay, what can we make for our bar? We have a beautiful wine bar here, and we just released one of his great sparkling white wines, which is called Momentous. So I thought fried chicken and champagne, why sure. not? Okay. And the thing about ja uh, Japanese fried chicken, it's, it's very light and mm -hmm. crispy, right? Yeah. Exactly. And that was what also um, made me think about the fried chicken because we just had Passover and you can't use flour. Mm -hmm. So this is a gluten-free recipe that uses potato starch. And that's one of our secret ingredients here. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so here we go. It's gonna make it unique. We have one pound of boneless thigh with skin on. Mm -hmm. We have pickle juice to get it that brine oh, yeah. flavor. Mm -hmm. We have dill seed, so more of that kosher kind of like uh, deli meat flavor. We also have some white pepper here. This is about a teaspoon of both, a tablespoon of minced garlic, one beaten egg, and our potato starch. We got about a third of a cup of potato starch, and we're just gonna let this sit for about a minute or two, mixed up. Just get a nice little brine going on, a little marinade. And this can be redone, set in the fridge, no longer than an hour you need. That was very simple. Right, so this gets nice and pasty. If you want it to get sticky, now our Russian dressing. Yeah. So of course, we're gonna start with a, a mayo base or aioli if you'd like. So this is about half a cup of mayo. We have some mint shallots. We have some ketchup. Ketchup? Yeah, that gives um, it a little tang. If you were making Thousand Island dressing, you would use chili sauce. Okay. So this is a little bit of pickle, Worcestershire. Worcestershire, I like saying yeah. that. <laughs> Hot sauce. Ooh. Less horseradish and some paprika. Ooh, that's got some kick. That's some spicy in there. Yeah. Um, just right, you right? Okay. The mayo Here tempers it all down, right? Here's our Russian dressing. Nice and mixed. Put in a little bowl here. All right, now let's try to fry this chicken. Okay. So, fry oil. Yep. Oops. We're gonna do 350, 350 degrees, gotcha. and you're gonna put about half of it in there. All right. Don't crowd it, right? You don't want it all sticking together. Exactly. And then, through the magic of TV. How do you know when it's done, by the way, Chef? Up. How do you know when it's done? Oh, so these are little pieces are floating. So I would say about eight, uh, six to eight minutes, okay. if that. All right. When they start floating, and you'll see them. So here we go, there's our little fried chicken. Here's our dill sauce. Mm. And we're gonna get a little fresh dill for garnish. Wow, oh, that's a nice little dish, real quick too. Yeah. So a little perfect bar snack for some champagne, Japanese inspired karage with a little bit of Russian dressing, perfect with any champagne. Tell I us think a little bit about Herzog Wine Cellars. Well, it's a kosher winery that's been out here in California for about 18 years now. Uh, we're originally from New Jersey, and uh, this is the closest place you can get to to get to our Napa vineyards, Santa Barbara vineyards, Lodi vineyards. So this is where we do our processing. And inside the winery is my restaurant, Terra Sir. Uh, I'm the executive chef here. So I'd love to have you guys come here anytime. 
All I, right. I'm looking at flights right now from O'Hare out to L.A. or Santa Barbara right now. Yeah. I'll be As COVID goes away, please come join us. Will All do. All right. Chef Gabe, thank you for joining us this morning. Tara Sir Restaurant is in Oxnard, California. Herzog Wine Cellars. Check out their website right there for more information. We'll be right back with Top Story.